How long have we been talking about Donkey Kong on this channel? I mean, I feel like we've been talking about Donkey Kong non-stop for over like the last year because it just felt like it was time for a new Donkey Kong game, especially as we were getting rumors saying that there was going to be a new one coming towards 2023 and we never really heard anything and now we're hearing that it could be coming towards 2024 and it could be coming to 2025, who knows? But the rumors were kind of all over the place. There was never really an explicit rumor that stated anything in particular. It just said straight up like, oh, there could be a two 2D Donkey Kong game coming. Oh, we're hearing reports that the Odyssey team could be working on a 3D Donkey Kong. Whatever it is, fans just wanted to see Donkey Kong in some capacity, and the only thing that we've seen from Donkey Kong really is Mario vs. Donkey Kong being remade from the Game Boy Advance coming to Nintendo Switch, which was something that I don't think anyone really expected to ever happen in this lifetime, but as someone who actually played the original game and loved it, I'm actually excited to see it again. Even though I love Mario vs. Donkey Kong and pretty much played every single game in the franchise, they are not Donkey Kong games. They are mostly games played by Mario or the minis, and you're trying to defeat Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's like the Bowser of this series, so this isn't a brand new 2D or even 3D Donkey Kong game in any capacity. I wouldn't even consider it a Donkey Kong spinoff, it's more of a Mario spinoff if anything. Next year there's something very important happening, and we just got a brand new trailer for it, and Yep, it involves the Super Mario World theme park. We've been hearing for a while that there was going to be a Donkey Kong Country expansion to the attraction, and we now just got a trailer revealing exactly what that's going to look like, and it looks phenomenal. You have Donkey Kong's hut, you have a minecart ride looking thing, and you have all kind of animatronics and a giant golden temple straight out of Donkey Kong Country Returns. I mean, you have so much Donkey Kong Country goodness, it just feels so right, and the fact that they chose this to be the second extension to that Nintendo World theme park is crazy considering the fact that there's so many other IPs that would have been really cool as well. I mean, you could have had Zelda, Kirby, Metroid, all these other things. I guess Donkey Kong is an extension of Mario, so it makes sense. But yeah, Donkey Kong is a big deal for Nintendo. So if Donkey Kong is such a big deal and we're getting a whole part of the theme park dedicated just to Donkey Kong Country, where are the Donkey Kong games? Well, this theme park isn't the only thing that we've been hearing about. I mean, we've been hearing for a while that a Donkey Kong spinoff movie is in the works. And if you you watch the Mario Brothers movie, you could tell that there's a lot of inspiration that could go into a Donkey Kong movie. There's so much in that movie in just the Donkey Kong Kingdom. You had all the different Kongs. You had Diddy Kong, you had Cranky Kong, you even had Chunky Kong and Dixie Kong kind of as Easter eggs in the movie. You had like an entire area. They could just throw King K. Rool in there with the Kremlins. It would work perfectly. Yeah, there's a lot of things that they could do with the Donkey Kong movie and apparently there's been rumors of it being in production and they just haven't really said anything to us. Obviously now since the writer strike is over, we'll probably get closer and closer to hearing things about it, but I just think it's for sure happening and put this in combination with the fact that yeah, we're also getting that giant expansion in Nintendo World, so odds are we might actually see a game to go alongside this very, very soon. In fact, I would be very shocked if we didn't see one either next year or early 2025. But if we do see Donkey Kong next year, what capacity are we going to see him in? Well, I think it's time for a big Donkey Kong game. I do have a feeling that they're going to take the safe route and just make it so that it's another 2D Donkey Kong game because they can because Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze were both very simple games in nature. They were just 2D adventure games for Donkey Kong. They were really, really good and really, really well received. So I think there's a chance that we could just get a third game in the modern Donkey Kong Country trilogy. Uh, but at the same time, I would love for them to just go crazy and do give us that 3D Donkey Kong game. But I think there's a problem with that, especially for next year. Because if next year really is going to have this big, huge 3D Mario game that everyone's been rumoring and everyone been talking about, I don't think they're going to also have a 3D Donkey Kong game unless they're completely different. Now, if the rumors are true, 3D Mario is going to be open world, which means a massive world to explore as Mario, maybe even some of his friends, who knows. So if you have a Donkey Kong game that's in 3D, I could kind of see it being more like Kirby in the Forgotten Land or more along the lines of Mario 3D World, kind of linear based gameplay where you're going through jungle levels in a 3D environment with maybe some secrets and Easter eggs and stuff hidden. So pretty much kind of exactly like Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I think sometimes we also get the misconception that just because they're launching a 3D game in that year, that means that they can't launch any other 3D games. No, that's not true. I mean, it just depends on the type of game. I mean, we had Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild in the same year, and they're completely different games. Breath of the Wild's more an open world experience, where Mario Odyssey was more of an open 3D sandbox style game that was more closed off and was not an overall interconnected open world. Of course, there's always a chance that Nintendo's working on two different Donkey Kong games. I mean, 
once again, it's been a very long time since we've had Donkey Kong. I mean, the last one was Tropical Freeze on the Wii U. And that was 2014, which means in 2024, it will be a whopping 10 years, which is a decade of no new Donkey Kong games. And yes, I know a lot of people will say Tropical Freeze on the Switch technically counts. No, it's the exact same game, just with Funky Kong. But I'm telling you, I would love a new 2D game regardless, but I think 3D is the way to go. I think we still really want to see a game that kind of reminisces Donkey Kong 64, and I would love to see one that's not necessarily open world, or maybe even open sandbox style, but maybe just like a 3D world, 3D land, and even Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And how this would work is once again, you would just have different levels. I mean, literally just take the worlds from Donkey Kong Country Returns. You have a jungle, a beach, a cliffside, a volcano, a factory, a minecart area. Have these worlds, but actually implement them now into 3D, a linear 3D experience where you can actually collect some things here and there. You can actually bust through the levels in order to get to the end. You can maybe even speed run them, and maybe you can play through them with different characters like Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and just stuff like Donkey Kong 64 all over again. Or shoot, maybe they do do a 3D sandbox style. Remember in Tropical Freeze how each world is just a different island? What if they actually did that, where there's just little small islands that you can explore, and they're kind of like kingdoms that you would have in Super Mario Odyssey, but this time they're islands, and you can explore all over the island. It's nowhere near an open world, but each world you can go explore and run around in before moving to the next one. It would be so much fun, and each island could have their own theme. Like in Tropical Freeze, there was an island that kind of resembled South Africa, the savannah and the grasslands in the background. You could have a snow-themed island. You can have an island that's more just jungle-based, probably one of the first ones in the game. You can have one that's beach-themed, and you can have one with a giant factory on it. You can do a lot of stuff like this, but just exploring each and every island and through its nooks and crannies in order to find secrets and Easter eggs and just ride mine carts and rocket barrels around, I think would be so much fun. It's actually absurd that it hasn't happened yet. And trust me, Nintendo is going to capitalize on this. We really thought they weren't going to do it with the Mario movie, and then they give us Super Mario Brothers Wonder, apparently a 3D Mario game just next year. Tons of Mario spinoffs, and I mean tons of Mario spinoffs and remakes and remasters. So yeah, Donkey Kong is going to get the same treatment. I would definitely expect at least two games in the next three to four years. So I think Donkey Kong eventually is going to get the treatment it deserves. And also just look at the fact that the Switch is on its way out and there's only like one game series that we still need on the Switch and that's Donkey Kong. I mean, almost everything else for the most part has been covered. Of course, there's a little, you know, couple games here or there, but Donkey Kong is a big franchise and it's a big one that definitely should have been included so far. So the fact that it's been 10 years since the last original Donkey Kong means that we are definitely due, and I'm sure there's one right around the corner. I honestly wouldn't even be surprised if it's even early to mid next year, so we're just going to have to wait a little while longer, especially as we enter the new year in January and February, where I'm sure a lot of brand new information about the Switch and the upcoming console could be coming soon. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Donkey Kong attraction at Orlando, and also let me know how excited you would be for a new Donkey Kong game. Would you rather it be 2D, 3D, what would you like to see from it? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.